okay guys it's the right time you stop copying and pasting directly from chat gpt stop copying and pasting your essay writing from chat gpt stop copying and pasting your letter writing or your school assignment from chat gpt stop copying directly your african folk tale stories from chat gpt stop this copying and paste directly from chat gpt because there is an ai website called gpt zero that helps in detecting if your content is actually generated by chat gpt oh yes you heard me right that's what this website does whatever content you're generating with chat gpt this website will help to detect if exactly it's from chat gpt or if it is humanized but don't worry in this video tutorial i have a solution for you if you are into african folk tale stories and you want to use your chat gpt to generate stories for your african folk tales trust me there is 99 percent that your story might be similar with other persons if you're using it to write an essay oh yes there might be a similarity even to solve your uh, school assignment same thing here but instead i will be taking you to some ai website that will help you to humanize your copied story from ChatGPT, your copied essay or evil email or whatever from ChatGPT. this ai website will help you to humanize it in a way that no one will ever know or be able to detect if it is copied directly from ChatGPT. okay with that being said now let's dive right in proper go to your google search and type chat gpt sign in if you are new to the website guys but i will recommend for you this chat gpt it is called open ai chat gpt look for this particular one there's a reason why i say you should look for this particular one this open ai chat gpt is completely free you don't need to pay for any pro plan before you can use it you can use it from any part of the world it's completely free and you don't need to pay for any plan okay guys take for instance now just for example let's assume we want to generate an essay on how i spent my last holiday for instance okay how i spent my last holiday okay here is the essay that chat has generated for us holiday at the mosh anticipated breaks from our daily routines offering us a chance to relax explore and rejuvenate my last holiday was an uncomfortable experience filled with adventures realization and valuable lessons i spent it in a way that combined leisure, family bonding and personal growth making it a truly memorable period anyway guys it's a bit long but here is the essay that chat has generated for us now Let's assume as a student, your teacher asks you to write an essay on how I spent my last holiday and you just head over straight to ChatGPT to copy this stuff like this and paste it, submit it as, a, as an assignment. This AI website called ChatGPT Zero would just expose you right in front of your teacher. Now guys. In order to have a proof to what I'm saying, now let's copy this essay here. Let's copy it and go to this AI website called GPT Zero. Now let's go to this website, GPT Zero. Okay. This very particular website here, GPT Zero. As you can see, GPT Zero, the trusted AI detector for chat GPT, GPT Four, and more now look at what they wrote here look at the introduction they give about it now they said gpt zero is a tool that checks if a document was written by a large language model such as chat gpt it offers a dashboard a chrome extension and an api for scanning analyzing etc etc guys now see this website here will actually detect if that essay you copied from chat gpt or the story you copied from ChatGPT, or even the email you use it to send, this this website here will actually detect if it is from ChatGPT or if it is humanized. 
Now, let's check the accuracy of this website. We have copied it now. Now, we're just going to paste it here. Now, here is our essay that was copied from ChatGPT. Okay, guys. Now, let's paste the essay we copied from ChatGPT. Paste it here. Click on paste. Here is the essay we copied from ChatGPT, as you can see. Now, let's check if it is humanized or if it is written by ChatGPT. We're just going to click on this scan and wait a few moments. It has been scanned already. Now see what the result says. We are highly confident this test was AI generated. Can you imagine? 100% possibility AI generated. Guys, can you see this? It's saying that it's 100% AI generated. No doubt. Not even minus 1%. It's saying that they are confident that this, this text was actually generated by ChatGPT. Now see. See what's going on here. It's saying possibility of AI generated is 100%. Highly confident. Look at what they said here. Look at the probability breakdown. The probability this text has been entirely written by a human, AI, or mix of the two. Now look at the human. Human is 0%. It means it was not written by human. Now look at even mix, whether AI or human, 0%. It means it was not even mixed up. Now look at the AI, 100%. Guys, can you see? So if, for instance, you're a student, your teacher asks you to write an essay on how you spent your last holiday, for instance, and you just copy directly from ChatGPT and take it to your school, your teacher could literally go to this website and detect that it is an AI-generated uh, essay. And then you're just going to score zero for that. <laughs> I'm joking anyway. Okay, same thing implies to African folk tale story. Let's assume we are into African folk tales and we want to use ChatGPT to generate a story for our, our YouTube channel. Let's say generate let's say generate a story of Ikena, the prodigal son of the great king Odumodu in the kingdom of Mankwa in West Africa, for instance. Guys, please Bear with me, it's just for an illustration's sake. <laughs> okay, now let's say we are asking ChatGPT to generate a story of Ikena, the prodigal son of great king Odmodu in the kingdom of Amakwa in West Africa. Okay, now you're just going to send it, submit it, and let's wait a few moments. Okay, ChatGPT has started generating. Okay, guys, ChatGPT has finished generating our story. Let's see what it generated for us. Once upon a time, in the vast and prosperous kingdom of Amakwa in West Africa, there lived a great king named Odmodu, known for his wisdom, bravery, and just rule. King Odmodu was beloved by his people. He had two sons, Chike and Ikena. While Chike, the elder son, was diligent and responsible, Ikena, the younger, was impulsive and adventurous, always yearning for excitement beyond the palace walls. It can often dreamt of distant lands and truly escape. Okay, now, guys, here is the story. Guys, let's assume I'm into African folk tale stories. I have always said in this channel, if you've been following me or if you've been watching my video, I've always said that this is not the proper way to generate stories for your African folk tales. As there could be similarities with other people out there. What if somebody type the same prompt? generate a story of a prodigal son if the person type the same prompt the only difference could be the names or the name of the village or kingdom but you're going to have similarity with some other uh person's uh story so i've always said this is not the proper way to do it okay but guys um one thing is sure here as of now, as of today, there's no YouTube rules that say that uh, you cannot use the uh, ChatGPT to generate stories for your African folk tales. Only what I will not advise is that even if you are using ChatGPT to generate stories for your African folk tales, uh, please do limit the use of AI voiceovers. Too much of uh, AI uh, generated uh, content uh, is against their rule. Just try to limit it a little bit. If you are using ChatGPT to generate story for your African folk tales, try to use your natural voice so that 
Uh, the whole thing don't seem so complicated. Too much use of AI, voiceover, sometimes it's not good. Anyway, with that being said, guys, now let's assume here is a story that I generated. I'm just going to go ahead and start doing the editing and post it on my channel. Yeah, there's no problem with that. But the only problem is that my story could be similar with some other person that have this idea prompt. If another person have this idea prompt that will say, I generate a story about the prodigal son, then ChatGPT will give similar stories to that same person. Now let's assume we are copying this story now and we are going to our ChatGPT zero to detect if it's uh, uh, humanized or ChatGPT. Let's go and see if same thing will happen there. Let's see if this website will be able to detect if also uh, it's from ChatGPT. Okay, paste it here. Okay. Now scan it. Just wait a few moments. Okay, it has been scanned. Now let's see the results. Same thing, guys. Same thing. It's saying that it's AI generated. Can you see? Instant, guys. Let me show you the right way to do it. Now that you have copied your story from ChatGPT, let's assume this is the story that was generated for you by ChatGPT. Now that you have copied your story or your essay or your assignment, whatever stuff you are doing here, your email or whatever, now that you have copied it from here, go to this AI website called bypass chat gpt now the reason why we are going to this ai website is that it's going to help us to humanize whatever thing that we have copied from chat gpt it's going to help us to check for plagiarism it's going to help us to reorganize everything grammars and spellings and everything is going to help us to rewrite in fact rewrite everything in a way that it could be difficult to detect if it was ever generated by chat gpt just click on it Hola. Now, as you can see, guys, convert AI text to human like. Can you see? Plagiarism free, undetectable content. Guys, can you see that? After using this AI website to regenerate or rewrite your stories or your essay or whatever, it will be difficult to ever tell if it was ever generated in the first place by ChatGPT. So, guys, if you are into African folk tale stories, now what you just need to do is to paste your essay here or paste your African folk tale story here and then just click humanize and wait a few seconds. As you can see, guys, it's rewriting it. Just wait. Guys, can you see? It has rewrite everything. Look at that long story. It has summarized everything and rewrite it and now we have it as a very short a form story but yet the content are still intact now let's see if it has similarity with the previous one the prodigal son of amakwa long ago in the land of amakwa a wealthy kingdom in west africa there was an important king by the name odmodu king odmodu an embodiment of wisdom courage but above all the fear of god was in oh come on guys guys what are you waiting for Come on, guys. This is the best way you write your African folk tale stories. Stop using ChatGPT for everything. Because when you use ChatGPT to generate story and you, you're telling the stories in your channel, one could easily detect that that story was never generated by you because there's going to be too much use of grammars. And this grammar will make some people to understand, oh my God, this content was not generated by this person. And aside that, sometimes some people might not understand this BB grammar. There are some age people that will be listening to you. And there are some people that are not that learned. So they may find it difficult to comprehend what you are trying to explain in the sim or in that very content you understand and therefore it will make people to lose uh, interest or engagement to your channel but when you write it as you can see now now look at all these bb grammars that were here this uh this website has helped us to break it down if i continue to read for that you will see that we have a uh, simple simple world simple english language to understand here there's no too much use of grammar again because it check for plagiarism if you are used to plagiarism checker or if you have ever used 
uh, AI website called Plagiary Checker Grammarly. You will understand what I'm talking about. Now, this AI website will help you to break down these big, big grammars and then correct every errors in the in the text where there is supposed to be punctuation mark it will be there full stop comma and all of this stuff okay guys this is the right way you compose your story if you are into african folk tales and this is the right way you should write your essay if you are a student this is the right way you should write your letter writing so that nobody will understand that it was generated by chat gpt this is the right way you should do your project as a student. Do your project work here. Nobody will know. Your lecturers will not even know that you ever use ChatGPT to generate it. Okay, guys. We're just going to wrap up this video here. But before we wrap up this video, guys, let's copy this newly generated uh, text and go back to ChatGPT Zero and uh, check if it's still going to tell us that it's an AI-generated text or humanized. Now just click on copy and go back here. Okay, now let's remove the previous text. Okay, now here is the newly generated text. Now let's scan it to see if it will repeat the same stuff. Okay, we have finished scanning it. Now let's see. Hola, guys, can you see the magic? Now, see what they are saying here. They said 98% human. Oh my god, guys, this is wonderful. Can you see now? The website is not able to detect if this was actually written by an AI, though we have converted it. Now, he said 98% human, 0% mix, 2% AI. Which means this 2% AI is other probability. It's even written here, 2% probability AI generated. So they are putting that 2% other probability that it might be or not. But 98% humor. Oh my God, guys, what are you waiting for? Use this method for your African folk stories, for your essay writing, for your projects, your school projects, your assignment and everything. And trust me, nobody's going to detect this. Guys. Mm. this is amazing okay guys i'm just gonna wrap up this video here i want to believe that this video has added value to you please guys if you know you have gained something from this video in one way or the other please don't hesitate to put thumbs up in this video and if today's your first time of coming across my video if you like what i do on my channel please don't hesitate to subscribe for more videos like this I really do appreciate that. Thank you. God bless you. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.